Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the overflow property of the CSS. Alright, so in this video we're gonna learn about the different values of the overflow property and these are the visible, hidden, scroll and auto. Okay, so since we have the basic structure code of the HTML uh, document, uh, I have to use development. Okay, so I have to use some dummy text here. Alright, so we have some dummy text here. Okay, now I have to style the development here. Okay, I have to give it a background color okay that looks good uh now what we need here okay so you can see here that we have the different values of the overflow property the auto hidden scroll and the visible uh the default value of the overflow property is the visible uh, when you use the visible value of the overflow property it means that the overflow is not clipped and it will also render the text that is overflowing from the elements box all right so we have the visible property and you can also use the hidden property okay so in hidden property your overflow is clipped and it will only show you the text or the content that is within the elements box okay so there's a difference between in the visible and the hidden okay okay we have the scroll property here okay when you use the scroll property uh, it will add the horizontal scroll bar and as well as the vertical scroll bar okay even if you don't need it for example if I just uh, cut down my text here uh, I just want to delete my text and now you would see that I don't need any of the scroll bar but we have the both scroll bars okay the horizontal and as well as the vertical even we cannot use them we still have them okay so this is how the scroll value of the overflow property behaves all right and we also have the auto value so what what is the difference between the auto value and a scroll okay auto value is a kind of a scroll value okay but it will only give you the scroll bar when uh, there is a need of it okay you can see here that uh, we have a uh, very little text here and we do not need the scroll bar for it right now and when you use the auto the scroll bar will only show up when there is a need of it but if I just add some text here you do have the scroll bar okay so this is kind of useful because it will only show up when there is a need of it not like the scroll value in which you still have it even if you don't need it okay one more thing here that you want to use the scroll property for example if you want to use the scroll property but you don't want to have the scroll bar on the both side for example you just want to have the scroll bar on the vertical not the horizontal so you can use the property which is the overflow y for the vertical and overflow x for the horizontal scroll i just want to have the scroll on my vertical side because it is the only thing which i needed here i would add the scroll okay so now you can see that we don't have any horizontal scroll bar so you can also uh, you can also use the hidden property to just to hide out the horizontal scroll bar all right so this is how it works and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye